Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Hello, my people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. A very warm big thank you for every one of you to you for your support. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe if this is your first time. Yes, so my people, is my ATLA speaking again. This is the cattle organization, the Fulani Headsmen in Nigeria. Of late, we've been seeing the exodus of them from the northern region moving straight into the southeast which has caused a lot of problem, no small one at all. We saw that in Imo state where uh, the, the, the Supreme Court uh, governor, we're talking about uh, Hope Ezidema, became governor of Imo state. And all of a sudden, we saw that the regime of... Um, Emia started for the first time in history of, you know, the South, South, Southwest and Southeast. I mean, no, the Southeast precisely. Sorry for that. For the first time in the history of Southeast that they now have an Emia. Well, we later learned that this was due to the promise he had and the part he has uh, agreed to if he becomes the governor of Imo State. And of late, we've we'll seen the flocking of this Maeti Allah group moving into the Southeast and this has caused no small trouble. We've seen that farmers have constantly continuously been har harassed we've seen a lot of increase in violence and to mention but a few people have been kidnapped the issue of bandits they are trying to take people's lands to mention but a few actually now my atl is responding because the whole world is watching and people are complaining what is really about this exodus movement and why are you all flocking to the southeast well they are saying our interest in the southeast is purely economical we just want to sell cattle Hmm. People of Southeast, now so now like meat. That is the question I have for you. Anyway, let's get in straight into the news and get all the details. Don't forget that before now, the mighty allies have been uh, and they've, that they've not moved to that they are not moving to the Southeast. They've still been selling meat and they've still been carrying out their business. How come they are now defending why they are moving in mass? To the southeast could it be the southeast is a stronghold and they are trying to break into that region only god knows so oh. anyway they are saying it's poor purely uh economical let's understand what they are trying to say the maiti ala cattle bearer association of nigeria southeast zone said its interest in the region is purely economical the chairman of the maiti ala in the region halaji gabio sakli made the clarification on Monday while briefing reporters after a meeting to join the executive council of the group in Enugu. Saki said that the clarification of the activities of the heads in the region had become necessary following the growing suspicion speculation in some quarters. He said it was imperative to correct the faulty impression that their interest in the region was beyond economic pursuit. He said the suspicion that the headsmen were Fulani terrorist expansion had grossly degenerated into unhealthy relationship in most parts of the region. The chairman said that such suspicion had made their members increasingly uncomfortable and unsafe. He said that the headsmen in the region were, were there just with sticks and harmony and relationship with the people of the area to have avoid any form of suspicion and all that is arising of late with regards to their presence in, in Enugu, Imo, and the Southeast region. This suspicion is rooted upon the speculation that headsmen are building and bringing in Fulani terrorists into the area. However, the leaders of the the, the leaders of the Etiala under my watch in the southeast has continued to diplomatically work well with the people and individually with the state as a whole in the zone. I am happy that the dialogue gives us hope for a better understanding between our members and their host community, he said. He said that the group will not hesitate to report any of its members found to be involved in criminal activity. He called on the government of the Southeast state to ensure protection for their members and cattle, adding that the headsmen in the area will be made to be 
to will be made to will be there mainly to trade and nothing more. Saki said the uh, mighty Allah recognizes that the challenges that the headsmen were facing with the region were not peculiar to the zone, adding that they were bound to be conflict between people of diversity, ethnicity, and orientation. He, however, said it was time to sort out the differences. We hereby jointly resolve to fully land our effort together, fostering and en enabling an harmonious relationship with our host community. We urge members of our host community to be more accommodating, to accommodate us. He said, Saki described the people of the South is as good and the mighty Allah will do nothing to bring tension in the area but work with them. So my people, that's what is going on. So the presence of mighty Allah's in, um, I mean, the Southeast region is becoming alarming. You see them everywhere you turn and the land they are taking belongs to indigenous of the land, which is causing serious problem and trouble, especially in Enugu, Imo state. You see, these people are all keeping quiet where people are dying, people are being kidnapped and a lot is going on in that area and in that region. Hence, the people are becoming hostile to these um, cattle rarers and they are saying, we are not here for trouble, we only came to trade with only came to do one or two things to do this and that and the people are saying we don't want you here please go mighty allah however is trying to explain that they have come to trade and their business in the southeast region is purely political that they should accommodate them and accept them well people are becoming suspicious with all that is going in nigeria do you really blame them do you really Excuse. Do you really blame people who are saying, please, you have to leave? Do you really blame them? Because a lot is going on in this country. I can tell you, people are being kidnapped. The issue of bandits causing trouble here and there, everywhere you go. To mention but a few, people are quite skeptical and saying, please, no thanks, but no thanks. So this is becoming a real issue. Mighty Allah, however, are trying to explain. They are trying to say, we don't have anything to do with whatever is going on in the region. We have just come purely for business purposes. That is why we are here. Please accommodate us. We have come to stay. People are saying, but you've been, we, we've been eating uh, meat before. Uh, we don't understand this. I mean, what is the new demand for this uh, uh, animal product that has become that you have to now move here? Mm -hmm. Previously, prior to this time, you do business and um, we, we, we still have our product. How come all of a sudden this has become a must for you to be here? Well, it is what it is. This is what is happening. This is Nigeria for you where some people are being treated with a golden spoon and other people once they speak up they are being you know the the army and the whatever of nigeria we go ahead of go ahead and you know cause more trouble my people this is what is happening what do you think leave us a comment god bless you from us it's bye for now bye